Coming up on Around Kern County, sparking futures and igniting passions. We take you to the Kern County Career and STEM Expo where students explore exciting pathways and connect with future careers. Plus, real stories, real impact. Meet the individuals who are putting a face to Valley Fever, hear their powerful stories and why they're using their voice to raise awareness and protect our community. Welcome to this edition of Around Kern County. I'm Erin Briscoe Clark, and I'm thrilled to be joining you as the new Chief Communications Officer for the county. I'm excited for you to join us as we shine the light on outstanding stories that make Kern County so special. Stories rooted in bold ideas, boundless energy, and innovation. So let's get underway. Inspiring the next generation of our workforce, thousands of students from across Kern County gathered at the Kern High School District's Career and Technical Education Center for the annual Career and STEM Expo, a huge collaborative effort to connect youth with future opportunities. Hosted by the Kern High School District, the Kern Economic Development Foundation, Chevron, and other community partners, this event featured over 600 employers ready to engage, educate, and inspire. The beauty of this event is that the employers also see the amazing talent, that talent pipeline that we have in Kern County, um, and we, we see these uh, potential partnerships, uh, relationships uh, come to fruition. And so the students, the wonderful thing, nobody's looking at their phone, the kids are engaged, they're having conversations, they're interactive displays. Uh, there are 3,500 students approximately and 140, 150 exhibitors. And so it's really a morning of uh, exploration, but the, the key is that it's a two-way street. So uh, the students benefit greatly, as well as the employers, and then uh, this, this pays the dividends many years past today's event. From hands-on STEM activities to conversations with industry professionals in fields like public safety, agriculture, healthcare, and more, students got a first-hand look at what their futures could hold. It's all part of a bigger mission, fueling innovation and economic growth right here in Kern County by building stronger connections between industry and education. We're trying to expose the Kern County's youth to all the careers that are available in our community. And why not start them young while they're still in middle school? Because we want to keep Kern County's youth engaged and we have so many industries that are growing and we want to build Kern County's economy. So reaching out to our youth and showing them all the different careers that are available and the different options that are here and partnering with CTEC and all the programs that they have available for Kern County's youth, whether it be going into marketing and doing digital or communications or going into logistics and being a forklift driver, everyone has a dream and hopefully inspire them and give them that nudge that they may not have received, you know, um, otherwise. So, and programs like this through CTEC uh, builds our youth and builds our community for the future workforce of Kern County. Bridging dreams with opportunities, the Kern County Career and STEM Expo isn't just an event, it's a launch pad for the future. And Kern County was proud to be part of the event, investing in youth, empowering students, and building a stronger, more connected future workforce. April is Valley Fever Awareness Month, and with cases on the rise, Kern County Public Health has launched a powerful new campaign that puts a human face to the numbers. I am one of those 3,990 Valley Fever cases diagnosed in 2024. Last year, I publicly shared my journey with Valley Fever after being diagnosed with the rarest and most severe form called coxy meningitis, a permanent infection in the brain and spinal cord, an infection that requires indefinite treatment with no cure. My diagnosis last year was life altering for me and my family and unfortunately I now personally understand the weight of valley fever and the toll the disease and treatment takes on an individual. Kerrigan is part of the Faces of Valley Fever campaign, officially launched at a press conference held at Public Health on April 3rd. Valley fever, a potentially serious illness caused by a fungus found in the soil, is endemic to Kern County. During the event, public health shared alarming statistics. In 2024 alone, a record 49 people died from the disease, 
and there were 3,990 reported cases. Kerrigan is one of three people at the event who shared her personal battle with Valley Fever, hoping their stories resonate with residents and inspire awareness and action. Not only is this just a public health threat that exists within Kern County, but it is a public health threat that I am now intimately experienced in. I experienced the healthcare system when it comes to navigating Valley Fever. I experienced getting diagnosed. I experienced getting told what my prognosis was due to Valley Fever. And then I also have experienced the journey of treatment. It's not easy being on these antifungal medications that you have to be on when you have a severe case of Valley Fever. They don't come without side effects. You have these experiences that you go through that it's not only difficult on your physical health, but on your mental health. And sharing my story, I hope that I can help others through their own journey. Another face of the campaign, Joel Walton, Kern County's Probation Division Director, who was featured in the Faces of Valley Fever video series. I found out I had Valley Fever in 2017. It's actually a much longer, complicated medical history. I was in the hospital getting treatment for chemotherapy, and I came up positive for an infectious disease test. Looking back, I can really remember being tired all the time. Walton and others impacted by the disease emphasize the same message. Listen to your body and don't ignore signs if you feel that something isn't right. Along with the video series, Public Health also created a community toolkit that includes Valley Fever facts, frequently asked questions, and local resources. To learn more about Valley Fever and the Faces of Valley Fever campaign, please visit kernpublichealth.com. April is also Child Abuse Prevention Month, and the County Administrative Center is lit up blue all month long to shine the spotlight on our community's commitment to build strong families, protecting and fostering healthier children. At a recent meeting, the Kern County Board of Supervisors officially proclaimed April as Child Abuse Prevention Month. Director of Human Services, Lito Murillo, stood alongside his dedicated team and partners from Kern County Network for Children, First Five, CASA, and other local agencies, all united in one mission, to work together to improve the well-being of children in our county. We're really all here to create awareness on child abuse awareness, uh, do our best work, and I'm so thankful for the individuals behind me, as well as the staff at DHS for the work that they do day in and day out preventing child abuse. Uh, it's a tragic issue that impacts all our communities, but together we can make a difference. The Department of Human Services is also hosting several events this month themed Heroes for Hope Week. One activity was Via Art Day, where the community came together and transformed sidewalks into messages of hope with chalk art. Each message a reminder that we stand united in the fight against child abuse and that prevention takes a village and it's a shared responsibility. And finally, a beloved Kern County Library branch is turning the page with exciting upgrades. The Wilson Branch Library recently celebrated a new chapter by inviting the community to its grand reopening. The day was filled with a ribbon-cutting event and a variety of activities for all ages. The open house gave residents a first look at the branch's improvements, and it was the perfect opportunity for them to sign up for their own library card. These renovations were made possible through the Building Forward Library Infrastructure Grant administered by the California State Library. To see a full list of library branches temporarily closed for improvements under the same project, visit kerncountylibrary.org. And that does it for us on this edition of Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you next time.